really, really quick, everybody. This entire video will be timestamped. So if you don't want to watch the whole thing and just jump straight into a different topic, please check the pinned comment or check the little red bar right down below you or check the new chapter feature on YouTube. Again, this entire video will be timestamped and I'd appreciate you guys watching whatever part that you'd like to. If you're sticking around, guys, hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video. I, My name is Kyle. I am your guy with too many YouTube channels and I'm still messing up that intro i'm gonna get it i'm gonna get it very very soon so guys anyways welcome back to another talk at clen this is the series in the channel where i ask you guys to jump in the discord server which is in the pin comment and the discord in the description down below feel free to join i would love to have you there and help make these videos anyways i ask you guys to jump in there and talk at me tell me something usually we talk about fortnite gaming fortnite anything really related a lot of you guys have been talking about the fortnite storyline lately but of course we can talk about anything at all just talk at me we are going to start it off guys let's get straight into it this might be a little out there but i think we are witnessing a prequel we already kind of confirmed that the Oathbound is the IO, so who are the reality warriors you might ask? Think they are the earlier version of the Seven. At Brutal Bastion, they have those back indestructible orbs, just like the concept art for the Sanctuary. I think this chapter we're going to see how the Seven worked with the IO and betray them, and this will lead into the chapter one story of the IO and the Seven, and then this will lead into chapter two and three. I think when we get to chapter five, it will be the future, and the last reality in the Peace Syndicate will remain be, be the main focus of the future without the Seven or the IO. I think chapter three was getting all the old characters out of the way and introducing new ones. I think these new characters will be the focus of the next three chapters each three chapters is like a chapter in itself makes a lot of sense actually i don't know it's a little bit of a stretch of course talking about like what's going to happen in chapter five and stuff it's a very interesting idea thinking like hey you know what chapter five could be the future i actually really like that by the way but i do agree with you i think this is a prequel it's just how it ties into the story i'm not too sure yet moving on epic should make a series or movies that show us the seven's origin stories and how they formed epic could do a jones series about jones trying to find the zero shard while being hunted by the io through multiple versions of the island which could feature new skate pros and four shots version of the islands i don't know if i've seen those ones the jones series could also set spin-offs like a version of the island with the exact same history of Newscape pros until a point where things change. For example, Sky gets bitten by a radioactive spider in a shadow science facility becomes Spider Girl. Interesting idea. I can't say that I've seen that. Is the Newscape Pro one of those like little Fortnite skits? Is that what I'm talking? Is that what I'm thinking of? I could be thinking of something wrong where it's like they upload and like tell their own story of the Fortnite. Please let me know down below. But it's an interesting idea. I do think that they should make a series or movie. I think it's going to come one day. I want to call back to a past theory I made and make a new one. I'm in the past when the Ageless survey skin showed up i made a theory that old jenna was the good guy he clearly wanted the best for his daughters which he replaced why he replaced them with snapshots plus he mentions how he only wanted the best for the omniverse during his final moments and during that theory i thought i said that young jenna which is the ageless could be the villain now to cut to the point i still stand by that theory because i think that chapter that as this chapter goes on the ageless will become a corruptive character as he learns more and more about the island and as he figures out how to control the connect kinetic or excuse me guys i'm sorry this is like on my other monitor here a little bit far away from me and as he learns to gain control of the island in the zero point reason i say this is because geno had people he cared for his daughters and his true goals seemed good whilst the ageless appears to care more about exploiting slash using the power of the kinetic ore to create the weapons and grow his empire the oathbound to conclude the series, I think this chapter goes on. We won't only see the Oathbound grow and possibly Io's return, but we will net we will see a war happen with the Ageless and the Rift Warden as they strive to go their perfect kingdom through the means of weaponizing the Kinetic Ore and possibly capturing the control of the Zero Point. Of course, this is just wild speculation. Wild speculation it is. Could you imagine if you called that? I have a little bit of a problem. If you're new with these videos, I have a little bit of a problem. It's like someone makes a pretty solid theory and prediction for something, and I'm like, hey that's pretty cool and i can't really add to it in a sense but yeah honestly i like that i I'd actually like i think it'd be pretty cool if like the, the fortnite storyline took a turn and like ended up going within that all right guys we're going to show us off this really quick elements draw is drawing a comic a very own comic of their own here's some nice characters for him it's actually very well done much better than i can draw to be honest with you but we're going to take a look at this we're going to continue on with the video let's move on to watts i don't think that there's an issue with selling two icon skins for the same person especially if they are very different i get where people are coming from when they say they don't like it but then using that argument why aren't all jonesy skins is just one skin with a bunch of edit styles i completely agree with you watts i understand why they make that argument i feel like most of them should be together like take a look at like the when it's appropriate is like travis scott and astro jack i get that it could be an edit style and i understand why people are saying hey why isn't this one skin but at the same time you are absolutely right on this i have nothing else to say but i agree with you let's move on again i am kind of conflicted on fortnite not giving answers recently on their lore on one side it feels like they're getting lazy and you just wait to explain in a comic or something but on the other side we finally have some more mysteries to solve besides Midas related things is very true Mark it's very very true I'm a little bit conflicted on it as well I'm very I'm, I'm like I'm not bitter about it don't get me wrong 
I am just like, man, that last live event and the conclusion, everything was very disappointing and I just want to see more. So that's the only time where I've been like, hey, come on, Epic. Like we didn't get anything from there really, but it's true. There are so many mysteries and I love how they're handling the storyline right now, the brand new storyline, like ignoring everything of the past. Love how they're handling it. It reminds me of early chapter one and chapter two days. I like it. So I'm a little convicted myself. I agree with you. Unpopular opinion. Chapter two season one's battle pass was the best one. I got to say, I actually really liked that, that battle pass. It was, it was just like one of those really nice, clean battle passes with some good emotes it had like everything in it was like again it was just a nice solid battle pass not my favorite but i understand why that is your favorite theory certain parts of the storyline are always left out left to fail but this one has to do with the chrome if you look at the edit styles for raz and the spire guardian they both have chrome styles which ties them to the nothing probably as servants or something but if you look at the spire guardian's description hers is very similar to the cube queen i believe that possibly the cube queen raz and all others are enslaved to the four nightmares main villain the nothing this will probably make sense when fortnite movie comes out but who knows a little bit of a reach it could be true they're all connected in some way but of course we don't know for sure let's move on again i have a theory that the true villains of save the world isn't the storm king at least not on his own but it is the last reality the first reason i say this is because the last reality used huck Hus the first time they tried to strike the island now obviously the big bad storm king of the monsters we fight a regular husk and then evolved slash much more higher in rank husk now the second reason i come up with this series because when we defeat the storm king and save the world we see kevin is left behind a river that the storm king once brutally towered over us in weirdly enough we don't see all of kevin we only see a small piece of him that most of it is dissolved in the lake slash river now if i remember correctly the cubes are a faction of the last reality and if kevin was on the save the world island this tells me that the last reality had their eyes on the world and their true intentions was to rid the world of life and claim yet another planet in their quest to rid reality of life now to end off this theory we hear that the nothing through ramir is in a piece of save the world lore dialogue and we also know that nothing is associated with the last reality although the rank is unknown we do know that they seem to be the, who, the one who is in charge of the whole chrome scheme which probably possibly tells me that nothing is a true leader of the chrome just as the cube queen is a true leader of the cubes now of course this is all just a theory based off of kevin's appearance in the mode also one last thing to mention is that if the storm wasn't a product of the storm king then could it have been a product of the zero point which it probably was and that's going off a little bit anyways we do know the storm was made to protect the zero point and in save the world the storm came without warning so just a curious idea what if save the world is first known it was is the first known shown for reality zero it's possible we've seen a lot of theories going back and forth talking about like who are the two like universes connected i don't even know if you could call them different universes the storm is definitely it's been created by the zero point it's gotta right because the whole loop was and that's part of the loop so i think that's connected in the sense i think you are probably right about the nothing being like a q queen type entity like the the boss of something like going on with the chrome but it's a big question whether Save the World is tied into the actual storyline or not. I guess we'll find out one day, right? To be honest, I think Chapter 3 POIs were so flat comparing Sleepy to Slappy, Coney to Faulty, etc. They have different levels unlike their Chapter 3 counterparts. Personally, Chapter 3 killed my love for the game for the entire years and it sucks more because of Chapter 2 I absolutely loved, but this chapter restored that love again. Very excited to see what they do next. Well, first of all, I'm very happy that you found your love for the game again. Chapter 4 has been nothing but an absolute banger so far and I can't wait to see the updates that come out. Now, Chapter 3 had its ups and downs. I think the early seasons were fantastic in the later seasons were like eh, i enjoyed season four but at the same time season three wasn't the best season you know what i mean so eh, regardless what happens I, I understand what you're saying i like that i do i completely agree with you about the uh flat pois that's some, one of the reasons why i love the daily bugle right it was something that was very interesting but then they took that away so i'm glad you're playing again i'm glad you're liking it I'm, i hope you like this map because this is definitely not flat moving on to benny i try not to be negative about fortnite but bullet bloom makes the game feel so unenjoyable i will be firing someone with the scar my crosshair directly on them i will open fire using my full magazine but only two bullets will actually hit bloom makes the game feel less skill based and more luck based that's true i don't typically let bloom bother me it's just like the, with the scar if you're using the scar i would imagine that's what you're talking about to be fair because the scar has a horrible bloom i usually just tap fire with the scar and i for me i understand why you say that okay I understand why it makes the game feel unenjoyable. If you get the jump on somebody, you won't be able to hit them, right? It, it does make the game feel luck-based. For me personally, that doesn't bother me at all. But again, I completely understand, you know, because there's a lot of guns with horrible bloom. <laughs> there's a lot of guns that makes it feel that way. So maybe just use, like, the heavy shotgun. That's my guess. Like, it, it just, and you could typically use that from almost, like, some scar ranges. So try to use different guns, Benny. Try to use different guns, like the heavy shotgun. That's the only one that comes off to my head. Or bows, those are very accurate, too. Try to use those guns. Maybe you'll be enjoying Fortnite a little bit more in my opinion i hope nintendo really reconsiders trying to collab with epic as they tried to do back in chapter 2 season 5 and it didn't work out because their deal definitely came across as very one-sided i would definitely like to see them try to rework something else but maybe similar to how they did master chief and kratos so you could buy samus for example and if you had a nintendo switch you can claim a metroid dread samus style that way it keeps epic's inclusivity mentality for all
all the players being able to use the same things also while giving players a reason to pick up a switch very good point i completely agree with that i think that'd be solid i think that'd be something great for nintendo do you remember when everyone thought eevee was going to be a nintendo switch skin because that would actually fit for like a fortnite original but still i understand what you mean and i would love to see so many nintendo characters waluigi give me waluigi please <laughs> but still any nintendo character would be really hyped samus would be awesome i have a feeling that creative 2.0 will be delayed at least one more time mark i gotta say i kind of agree with you I'm holding out hope. We'll see what happens, but I think it will be delayed again one more time. They're having problems with it. If you didn't know, guys, the update's been delayed. There was supposed to be a showcase. Not the update's been delayed, but the showcase has been delayed. We still haven't got that. We're in January now. We're supposed to get it released very soon. It's probably going to get delayed again. I'm with you, but I hope not. I, whatever they need to do, that's what I'm hoping for. But still, like, I, I kind of hope that everything is fixed up, polished, ready to go. Because I'm excited for Creative 2.0. I got to release that video, Mark. I got to release that video talking about will it ruin Battle Royale. Jesus. And we're moving on to the last one. This Winterfest had the least amount of skins for Christmas. That's true. Man, yeah, Epic Games has really been not doing well with the original skins lately. Eh? You know what? At least we got some this time. At least we got some. And I can't... It's hard because I say like I can't complain about that because we're getting a little bit but at the same time It's not nearly as much as it used to in epic games. I'm just trying to spend my v-bucks on you I don't get it man. So hopefully it's just because of creative 2.0 Hopefully that's what they have been working on this whole time. Maybe they've been hyped out for chapter 4. I don't know. It's an excuse I don't know if it's a good excuse, but still come on epic give us some skips back guys Let me know what you think about everything down below Thank you so much for watching this video. If you are new here and you enjoy the content, please consider the like button to help the channel a ton. Subscribe if you're brand new. Check the description down below for links to all of my other channels, as well as link to Real Ember on Fire. We'll take care of all of your YouTube thumbnail needs. Remember, guys, thumbnails are the most important part of, video, of your video. Let Real Ember take care of that for you. Two more things. One, if you want to be a member, you can win some V-Bucks at the end of the month. You can play with us in live streams. And lastly, if you'd like to use my supporter creator code in the item shop, it is code Clen. Hashtag, I have a hashtag epic partner. Thank you so much for watching. Get everybody. I will see you in the next video. Take care.